This is Rock Leach with Social Fire, and in this video, we want to address several of our comments from the Dr. Tony Evans stepping down video. There were a few that gave some questions that we need to look into. Uh, the fact that could it be blackmail, and could it be blackmail by a certain community? Oh, you don't want to miss this video. Now click that like button and that bell notification so you'll be notified every time we put out a new video while you prepare yourself for this video clip. And I'll come back with some commentary. Let's go. When looking at Dr. Tony Evans, a man who's been a standard for principle, integrity, uh, biblical interpretation, I mean, he's done a lot of great things, and he's been consistent as far as we are aware. We don't know his private life, but we have to just know that anybody who is a live human, blood flowing through their veins, they can be susceptible to sin. That's why we need Jesus. Of course, if any man say he had no sin, he's a lie and the truth is not in him. Everybody, I want to repeat, everybody has some level of sin. And Tony Evans is not exempt from that. However, I'm wondering how does a man uh, go through a ministry this many years and then have to step aside because of old sin? Old sin. And many times it was asked in the comments over and over, why is he stepping down now if this is old sin? Why didn't he step down originally when the sin was committed? Now, we know that Tony Evans' wife passed away, and I know that could have been a level of trauma. And honestly, I could have understood if maybe this sin, and, and I still don't know, but maybe this sin could have happened. Is this some form of old debt that he's paying? Uh, some, when I say old debt, some level of ministry debt somebody's holding on to, to get a certain thing to happen. Now, I do understand when I say certain thing, we do understand because in the comments, there was the point that was brought up about this happening during June, which is Pride Month. Could it be some form of LGBTQ plus community uh, agenda? Because we are being inundated with that inside of media where you have the emasculation of the heterosexual man. We have these uh, crazy terms that are blanket terms that like a, ma uh, a toxic masculinity that are out there. And I believe that there is an agenda that's being put out for biblical standing men who lead unapologetically inside of their homes. And I know inside of media, there's a lot of things that I can't even watch on television because this woke community is just making everything uh, bad. You gotta, you, <laughs> I, I almost need the spoilers and read the reviews before I even watch some because I don't want you to ambush me with some sort of foolishness uh, in this regard. I Somebody asked me one time, uh, what do you, do you believe what do you believe about homosexuals and the LGBTQ plus community? Uh, what do you believe about them? I said, I don't believe anything about them. However, I believe the Bible and the Bible speaks in this regard about them. Uh, people are always trying to catch you in some sort of, especially when they ask you at work and stuff like that, got to be careful about the HR standard. However, however, I believe the word of God when it comes to this level of thing. And I know that there is an agenda that's been trying to creep inside of the church for years. They're even setting up things to try to reinterpret the scripture, uh, even with Sodom and Gomorrah. They're trying to make that to where it's not. They actually interpret it this way. I've actually debated some people who interpret it this way to say that that's not about homosexuality. That's out, that's actually about inhospitable. Uh, I'm sorry, inhospitality rather, and uh, violence. That's not about homosexuality. And that is just y'all. That is just the crazy things. But it did sound an alarm in my spirit to let me know how strong this agenda is. And did somebody inside of his ministry decide to use this against him? Was there some sort of theme that's coming forth? Because you know these kind of things happen more prevalently in other pastors' churches, such as Mike Todd. Uh, different things of that nature. They allow these things to go on and appealing to all kinds of level of compromise. Could it, been, uh, could it be that this is being used against Tony Evans? His church wanted to do something in regard to this, and he was like, no, we're not going to do that. And he, is he actually holding the gun to their head saying, if you do it, I'm going to leave. However, I want you to get a taste of this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and step down because of the old sin of me allowing you all too much authority. Could that be the old sin? It, it You know, because pastors mean well, 
when they do these kind of things and organized church become very organized with it, even biblically, but even in the governance of the church, could his old sin be that he allowed uh, people to have too much authority and now they're using that authority against him? Uh, you know, maybe it's those kind of things, because if you look at this, sometimes that level of transparency, because he didn't go any further than just saying that uh, it's an old sin. Now, there has to be a level of and I looked at how this was worded, uh, this whole thing, this. Uh, and if you hadn't saw the the uh, the what he said uh, in his statement, you, you need to go back and look at the previous video and I'll have it linked in the description. But where we went through that whole, but it was written so well, he even went to say as he went as far as to say that this wasn't a criminal thing. It wasn't anything that was criminal. However, when you look at the governance, all of that's going to be established by him when he established the church, God leading him and him establishing a church. Could it have been his old sin was giving people too much authority? And now they are using that against him with some level of LGBTQ plus community. Wow, it's kind of difficult to say that. Uh, but we have to look at when this is happening it is happening in june and i'm only speculating this is only this is only a speculation on based on some comments that it's some level of blackmail and if we go even further right here um we have to look at several things that are right here was this some level of uh blackmail uh, are we looking at something that is um something that is going on Is this blackmail for someone else who did something in ministry and he's actually stepping aside so that that won't be exposed? Uh, or is this something where it's a distraction so we don't pay attention to what's really going on? Is he defending his legacy? Could it be that he's defending his legacy? And, you know, many churches are strong churches, but when the leader is as great as Tony Evans, I mean, can the church really survive? Without Tony Evans, at his age, we would have been more understanding. It probably would have been more easier to digest if he was retiring, <clears throat> you know, to live out his life, you know, and enjoy his retirement, uh, some sort of emeritus standing, uh, you know, could it have been that? But when you say old oh, sin, many people brought up in the comments, why is he stepping down for old sin and did not step down and repent when it first happened? And my understanding is that based on how it's probably set up inside of that church, he probably was accountable to those in leadership there as elders. And they had something that happened originally for him to heal and to get better. And because that old sin came back up, he's having to now you got to let the people know that you're stepping down. Uh, you know, in that regard, or it's something that they do know and they've decided to use it against him, you know, I, but I ultimately want to know what you think about this, because this is a lot to uh, digest. Was it the LGBTQ plus, and I almost can't say that word, was it the pride community uh, that did this, have the pride agenda gotten inside of his church? Uh, because that was what a lot of you all brought up. It is happening during June and many churches, uh, you know, businesses. I'm so uh, tired of seeing this flag in all the coffee shops. I just want a cup of coffee. I don't want you to show me, uh, have me thinking about sex or any kind of, you know, anything like that. That's what it says to me when I see these flags everywhere. Uh, when we all know what that means, according to the Bible, according to the scripture. But I want to know, ultimately, what do you think about uh, this possible agenda uh, towards Dr. Tony Evans and the Oak Cliff uh, Bible Fellowship? I want to know what you think about it. Jump in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Let's go.